I asked one of my students what is the state of potato chips. Is it glassy or rubbery? He replied, I think it is in a glassy state. I asked him again why it is in the glassy state. He was thinking and told me, I am not sure. I replied, please watch my videos on the understanding glass transition of foods. Hello everybody, potato chips should be crispy and consume it for the pleasure of its crispy sound and its ability to shelter into mouth like glass. Definitely, flavor and taste are also important. If you would like to have your chips crispy, then it must be at its glassy state. Glass state would ensure its ability to shatter when I bite and then it will make a crispy sound. As an example, I have a chips here. In our lab, we have a TPA which could mimic the biting that I have done now, processed by multiple compression and decompression cycle. The device, uh, we have the prop here, and there's a software where different peak. Using this peak, the two peak, we could measure hardness, uh, crispiness, and chewiness. Thank you. Spaghetti is hard and brittle. I am pressing one spaghetti strip with my fingers and we could observe it is hard and brittle. This also indicated that the glass transition of a spaghetti is much more than the room temperature. I would like to soak a spaghetti in hot water and would like to see what would happen to its structure. After some time, I checked and observed that the spaghetti is not as stiff as before, rather little flexible. After more time of soaking, I observed the spaghetti strip is completely flexible. The spaghetti was so flexible that I could press and bend it by finger and not brittle as the original spaghetti. This indicated that the glassy and brittle spaghetti strip was transformed to rubbery flexible with moist heating. Original spaghetti strips were heated in a microwave for 30 seconds and we observed it was still in the glassy state with more brittle and fragile. Puffing of the strips could make it more fragile. Dry heating could transform the spaghetti to a higher glass transition temperature due to the loss of moisture. In the forthcoming videos, I will explain more on the applications of glass transition to determine food stability during processing and storage. I would like to thank you for watching this video until the end.